against me. Yeah, I pushed up and it's going down. Well, <laughs> get up, please. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Okay. Oh. Challenge. What? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. What about Escape? I'm gonna try Escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Doubt. I'm pressing X to doubt right now. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Am I just like in an endless loop? Oh no, there we go. <laughs> Stuck the landing. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, uh, uh, it reflected that his life it was had a trap. no it was a trap. whatsoever. Ah, Stanley a trap. can't see no. the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Uh, my voice in my head. No. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Ah! Oh, I made it. <laughs> And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can wow, walk has been created for you long place. in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Uh, Do you see now? My giant? <laughs> Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Always been dead? Huh. Ah, oh, they're playing solitary. Suit. Was an early in development. We designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting the build, it was it that the build it that it was far too jockey on the nose for jokey on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpret it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. What screws them? Yeah, I don't. I'm gonna be honest. If they're probably shooter players. They're probably not playing this. So, dear narrator, how do you stay in shape? Sincerely, Michael the Rock Martin.
<laughs> From Tink Dunk. Subject gay. Are you gay? No. There's nothing wrong with that, you know? Alright, I'm not seriously playing this. Uh, office. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Oh, okay, just reset. <laughs> Can I flip your switches? Darn. Push button? No, I can't push button. Where did I go? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No. No, I'm blind. It's not. Dark. Sometimes it's very dark. these <laughs> things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Ouch. Hello? <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? <laughs> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set so of two get... open doors, he entered the door on his left. Speed run to where we're. Yet there was not a single person here either. Could fast forward. Feeling I'll a probably wave fast of forward. disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hope coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Probably fast forward to like when I go down the <laughs> Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was Are once again stunned to Are discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley, Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Good music. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Ah, stuck on the couch. Help! Couch is me. It's got me. Guess we won't fast forward that. Back on the elevator again. Oh, does it fast forward for me? Nice. Okay. This time, I guess we go mind control. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control. Yeah, facility. yeah, yeah. But then. the lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Yeah. I mean, how bad can it really be? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. I'm 427, right? So that's me. It's 
me, that's me right there, that's me, that's my office, yo, that's me, whoa, mom, I want TV. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe, it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. Yeah. He couldn't accept it. No his way. own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. I make Wasn't my it? decisions. Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once yeah. and for all. You go, Stanley. Because we're going with faculty power. Or facility, not faculty. Gonna shut this place down. You gotta get it shut down. When at last he found the source of the root. <laughs> Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone yes. else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. You and can't yet, keep a good Stanley even as down. the <laughs> door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, Trees. but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. Heck yeah. And that was all he I'm needed. I'm gonna make to my know. life the way I want to make it my life. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. <sighs> Absolutely beautiful. And Stanley was happy. Happy ending! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> That feels like a good end on that one. We'll do it again. We'll hit the yes or on button this time. So, find this funny, finding me funny. You know, hit the like, subscribe, comment, you know, tell me, you know, if I'm funny or not. And, uh, you know, see you in the next episode. Thank you.